Hey folks, this is the Innovation Game Boy Advance MP3 player. Yes, you heard that right. MP3 playback on a Game Boy Advance. This is very odd, so of course this is an oddware video. Uh, I found this at Second and Charles months ago, uh, probably in, during the summer maybe, late summer, and I've only gotten around to it now. This is one of the most unusual things I've ever seen, so I think we should open this up and take a good look at it. So we can actually see the box better, too. Here is the actual module that goes into your Game Boy Advance. Download any MP3 or BMP files from any computer. BMP files, good lord, we're gonna have to play with that. Plays MP3 files or MP3 files on your Game Boy Advance. See BMP picture files full color on the screen. So we'll definitely have to play with that. Includes MP3 player, USB cable, headphones, the carry strap, and the software to connect to any computer. Requires a smart card, not included, except that it was included. And it was an, even an innovation brand smart card. This thing is old enough that it takes smart cards for memory. Or storage, I should say. 16 megs of storage is what we get on this card, which is enough to demonstrate it, so that works. So. Smart media card slot, USB port, and a headphone jack is what you get. Looks like what's on the back is what's mostly on the front. So. Let's tear into this thing and see what it's like. Hopefully all of that's all of it's still there. It looks like it was resealed. Maybe not. This looks brand new. There's a strap. USB cable. Looks like it's some kind of proprietary thing. I don't know. We'll have to look. Might be just older. Looks like we have the actual unit itself. Manuals, of course, and software, I guess. There's a floppy disk, an unlabeled floppy disk in here. I'm going to guess that that's the software. Well, there you go. The product can be used to play music in MP3 form, store MP3 music, BMP photograph files, and TXT files or copy from the computer or transfer through internet mp3 music bmp photograph files and txt files with the help of the annexed usb connection line okay <laughs> it also supports a stereo signal so you can plug in headphones and plug it into any stereo music system you can to carry your favorite songs anywhere and plug and play what i'm curious about is if it'll actually play it through the game boy speaker have yet to look at that so this is just instructions for how to use it so, I'm basically going to stick a mixture of text files, BMP uh, photos, and MP3s on here, and we'll see how it goes. So, curious what's on the on this disk though. We'll have to I'll have to dig out a laptop and uh, see what's on the floppy drive. I unwrapped that USB cable, and it doesn't look like any connection I know of. So. Yeah, at least good thing the cable came with it or I couldn't really demonstrate this. Because I don't have a, another smart card reader. I used to. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, but this is the unit itself. It's rather big, I would say. Kind of bulky. It just has a cheap sticker stuck on there. <laughs> this product looks like it was not, like, really well made for the time. Uh, it looks like it's one of those, hey, the internet's a brand new thing. Let's MP3s are hot. What do we do? Stick them in a Game Boy, because every kid has a Game Boy. So, yeah. That's the unit itself. Uh, the strap, I'm probably not even going to bother with. The software we'll take a look at, as I mentioned. And, uh, yeah, cable. I think all that's really left to do here is to connect this to the computer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transfer a mixture of files uh, onto this, onto the card, and uh, we'll see what it looks like on the Game Boy screen. I just unwrapped the smart media card, and uh, 
I forgot that these things actually had labels. It actually came with a set of labels. And silver things. I don't know what these are for, but the label makes sense. It's a bit like a cassette or something. Early flash media, man. There you go. Now it's in. So I'm going to fire up a computer and see if I can just transfer things to it like a disc. So on with the show. Green. Yes, Windows ME. <laughs> Pulled out this com compact Armada 110. We're going to see if there's anything on this floppy disk. It's funny that this came from a company, but they just didn't put a label on the floppy. You'd think they'd put innovation, or they'd put something else like that on the floppy. But they didn't. So This could be a blank floppy and a complete snake oil product, for all we know. This is a high-density floppy, at least. Well, there we go. Let's put this in the drive and see if there's anything on there. Did they include software? Yes, they did. Well, how about that? Hmm. Weird. They look like files that you would feed to um, Device Manager. So maybe I should try plugging this into the win this Windows ME PC instead of the other one. Where is the... Here it is. Let's plug this into this PC and see what we get out of it. Does it detect anything? Yes, it does. So maybe we can actually do something with this yet. Specify the location of the driver. It should be on the floppy. Yeah, it found it. There we go. So this thing does seem to work and to be detected. But the good news is that the, uh, the floppy works, so... Well, it appears to have done the Windows 9X thing and completely frozen up the desktop, like in every way. Can I do Control Alt Delete? Nope. Got a somewhat hard freeze out of it. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good sign, is it? <laughs> that happened a lot in Windows 98 and ME. It would just do that. So let me unplug that for a minute. Take the floppy out. Yeah, I don't know, guys. This this might be a uh, this might be a flop. <laughs> Not sure yet. I'm determined. We're gonna do this again. I turned the smart card around because maybe I had it in the wrong way and it didn't like it. I really don't know. Either way, I got a smart card out of this deal if it doesn't work. So. Alright, let's plug it in again. Let's see what happens. Will it work this time? Probably not. Oh no, maybe it is. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Hey! We're getting somewhere, folks. Do we see the drive? Do we see the drive? I believe we do. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now we can put BMP files and things on here. Okay, in the Windows folder, there's a bunch of BMPs. Uh, clouds looks like one I can use. I'm going to drag a bunch of these. How big are these? They're 300K. So I'll drag a bunch of these. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll get a bunch of these BMP files here and put them onto the smart media card copy those it's working it's working hey it's working
Okay, that's what I like to see. Let's. Arrange icons by name. Yeah, there we go. So, what does setup look like? Ah, it's the Windows logo. Cool. Now, what we need to do is find an MP3. I don't have any MP3s on this computer, but I could figure out a way to get one on onto uh, onto here. So, I can just grab an MP3 from somewhere else and shove it on here. Now, how about a text file? Let's make a text file, huh? Stop. This trackpad's awful. <laughs> okay. So let's go to Notepad, or WordPad, actually. Write something down. The innovation GBA MP3 player. To read TXT files. So we'll do that. We'll save this as a TXT file onto the drive. Okay, test.txt. Text document. That's what we want. All right. Yes. Okay. WordPad's done its job. Now we have test on there. Okay. So that's our first look at it. Let's see if I can get this to work in the Game Boy now. So basically that... So basically, that's how this innovation thing works. Is it base when you plug it in via USB, it uses its own special drivers to act as a smart card reader. And I got to work here on Windows ME because it's a Windows 9X based machine. Now, I did now I did manage to get stuff onto the machine. Now I did manage to get stuff onto the uh, card here, but there's something else that's a bit of a problem. And let me show you that real quick. Here is a Game Boy Advance SP. Here is the Innovation MP3 player. When you plug it in, or insert the thing, you see these two notches on the side? It stops it from going all the way in. <laughs> what use is that? It literally stops it from going all the way in. So, this plastic is an issue, and I feel like I'm going to have to break this plastic off just to be able to get this in there. I don't want to do that, but... Let's give it a try. Last time I did this, it did not work, so. Yeah, this is what it does. I don't think this thing can insert itself all the way, so you really don't get anything out of it. Which is a shame, because I'd love to demonstrate this thing. And you'd think, you can just use the regular Game Boy Advance, right? Isn't that what it was designed for? Yeah, I guess. So, fits right in perfectly. Look at that. Now, I wonder if I can fit it that way into the Game Boy Advance SP. Let's try this again. Yeah, see, either way, it does not fit properly. So, the Game Boy Advance SP is out for this accessory. This was designed solely for the original Game Boy Advance. Fits in nicely like that. So, what I'm going to do is get some batteries and uh, get an MP3 file onto this thing as well. And uh, we'll give it a test and see if I can't make it come out of the speaker or come out of the headphones. So... We'll see about that. Let me get an MP3 to put on here, and uh, we'll figure this deal out. Okay, I think we got it. So I have the MP3 player in the machine, so now let's see if we can see the interface. This is this screen's not in the best of shape, so forgive this gorilla videography. It's not very good. Uh, oh, there we go. You can kind of see it that way. Ah, now you can sort of see it. Okay. Let's turn it on again and show you the interface. Wow. 
See an animation of a running horse there? Well, there you go. There's the interface. It's basically a media player type of thing. And uh, it does not play music through the speaker, I don't think. So let me play that here. No, it does not play it through the speakers. So we'll plug this into a stereo and see what it sounds like. Or a pair of speakers or something. I said stop. There we go. The animation of a running horse seems to be appearing a lot. So let's go up to text. See what that looks like. Text. You might be able to see there at the top it just says test. Since that is the file that we put on here, this is a test of the innovation. GBA MP3 player's ability to read text files, TXT files. Seems to work just fine. That's kind of neat. Yeah, I don't know how to... How do I go back to the menu? Oh, if you press select, it brings up the player. That's interesting. So you can, you can look at text files while using your Game Boy Advance MP3 player while barely being able to see the screen. <laughs> What a mess. My god. So you press select to bring up the interface again. Let's go to BMP and see if we can get the Windows logo to appear on here for setup. setup. Look at that draw. It's literally drawing the screen really slowly like that. Okay, so it's kind of working. I'm very confused by this. <laughs> oh dear. This is really, really... Ay ay ay. You can't really see anything. I think the picture's too big. So let's go back to the menu here. So let's go back to the menu here. Go to clouds and see if I can make that happen. It's slowly drawing the screen, but it just looks like a bunch of blue crap. Oh, uh, wow. See, BMP is kind of useless because you can't see the damn screen. Let's try something smaller, like how about sandstone? That's just black. <laughs> Let's try uh, bubbles. That's also just black. <laughs> so the other functionality is just kind of silly. All right, so you can barely see the screen. You get the picture of you sort of get the picture if you could sort of bear the glare of my light here what the uh, what the interface looks like the running horse seems to be a theme I think we need to plug this in and see what it sounds like <laughs> let's bring it over to the stereo okay we have this plugged into my big stereo let's see what kind of sound we can get out of this thing Maybe you can see the interface better in this type of light yeah you can actually there's your running horse animation Let's see if we can play back music. The running horse logo keeps going. I don't hear anything yet. Oh, there we go. We're getting sound out of it. That's not bad, actually. Wow. So let's play at the volume control a little bit. Where's the volume control? Turn that up. It's not what I want. I want the volume control. Turn it all the way up.
Well, how about that? We have a Game Boy MP3 player. And it doesn't sound bad. It sounds just fine. Of course, it helps that I have it plugged into a nice stereo, but that sounds pretty good. And it's in stereo, as you can hear. The guitar's in the other speaker. Well, I have to say, it was a lot of trouble to get this thing running, but seeing as it was technology from the early 2000s more than likely, it was designed for this original Game Boy Advance, so 2001, 2002 is when I would put this product, maybe even 2003, not really sure when this came out, but it came out around that time, and it was clearly a very cheap product meant to sort of bank on the MP3 craze at the time. And it does what it says. I have to say, there's an EQ setting. Yeah, there's an EQ, there's a bunch of EQ settings. There's also a repeat button as well that lets it continue to just play and play and play. So there you go. Stop button there. That, my friends, is the Innovation GBA MP3 player. At first I thought I had a dud. I, I didn't think it was going to work, but thankfully all I had to do was put the smart card in the right way. <laughs> and uh, I got it to work. Uh, I got it to work on the Windows ME machine was able to transfer files onto it. We were able to look at some text files and VMP bitmap files on this thing and actually see them. Sort of. But, you know, this screen sucks, so it's barely visible. It's hard to, it's really hard to video this. I don't have any of my Game Boy lights anymore, and that would have come in really handy for this, but I did the best I could. If you bear, if you could bear with it, thank you. <laughs> but, yeah, and it plays MP3s, and it, it sounds good. It actually sounds good, as you heard from uh, my stereo system here. I plugged it into a nice stereo, and it sounded just like plugging in a phone today. You know, plugging your phone into a stereo and having it sound good sounded just the same. So the DAC they put in this isn't too bad, I'd have to say. I'm kind of surprised by that. It definitely, playing music is definitely this thing's strong point. The media it's on will limit it somewhat because smart cards only went up to a certain capacity. But it does what it says. It absolutely does what it says. And I commend it for that. That's pretty cool. So that, folks, was the Innovation GBA MP3 player. Bit of odd wear that <laughs> you wouldn't see much anymore. This kind of functionality, I would assume, is built into newer handhelds. In fact, it is. Things like the NVIDIA Shield can do it, the handheld version of it. Uh, since that's Android, and I bel I don't know if the DS series of handhelds can do it. I have not tried it, but I would assume that it has similar capabilities of uh, being able to, you know, you can view video on a, on a 3DS and a 2DS XL and a 2DS, so why wouldn't audio work? That's kind of my assumption there, but hey, this is the early days of it, when you had to get an add-on from a very questionable company to play MP3s on your handheld. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a good one everybody. Ciao.